Hi y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a budget with me for the first paycheck of January. Um, and then I do have some happy mail to open as well and I will do that as soon as I'm done with the budgeting. So um, stick around so you can see what I got. I'm really excited to open this. And a quick introduction, my name is Janelle. This is Organized Chaos Budgets. And I am a mother of five, four boys, one girl. I have a husband, he is the main income source for us. I do do side hustles as much as I can. I'm trying to get my Etsy store going and then I'm hoping to be able to monetize YouTube at some point. So, um, and then he also does some door dashing every weekend, usually about Sundays. He does a day of door dashing um, just to help supplement with income especially on winter days so if this interests you please hit the subscribe button you can follow me along on my journey through budgeting trying to get our family debt free um and give me a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment say hi so i'm going to set this to the side because i'll be doing this after i do our budget so real quick um i do know that this I'm going to start with the silver one um, for my no spend scratch challenge and let's look and see what days we have for that. So um, we have the third, Monday the third, I did not spend anything. Tuesday the fourth, I did not spend anything. Wednesday the fifth, I did not spend anything. Yesterday we ended up eating McDonald's and actually this morning I ended up buying a McMuffin from McDonald's. So I have not written that in here yet, but I'm not going to count it as a no spend. So we have the 3rd, the 4th, and the 5th that I will need to scratch off on this. So I'm going to circle the 3rd, the 4th, and the 5th. And I will scratch these off when I do our income scratch or income stuffing, uh, the cash stuffing for the... And as you can see, I scratched off the 14th to see how it works. So I'm going to definitely have to not spend on the 14th and use that total. So, um, okay, let's, so as you can see, I did finish my calendar finally. Um, I added in my um, bills, my spends for this week. I do like to keep track of my bills in here, even though we are a month ahead. I just like to put them in here so I know when they clear the bank. Um, I do need to go back through and check because most of these have already cleared. And then I filled out our monthly budget. I did that on camera. I did finally go through our debt tracker. I'm not going to go into detail on that though. And we're going to start here. This is the um, first paycheck of the new year. Um, so this is my husband's income. And I do know that we are actually, I budgeted for $1,100. we are actually getting $1,000. So, and that will be it except for if he door dashes, which we're going to my mom's tomorrow for a get together. And then I'm not sure if he will, but probably on Sunday. So um, I already wrote in our categories because I didn't want to do it on camera. So I'm just going to tell this fill in the amounts. So for rent, we're going to do 400 For the car payment, we're going to do 138 Car insurance gets 50 Excel gets 41 Credit cards get 50 Wi-Fi, we're not going to do this paycheck. And karate will get 63 So um, we're going to add that up. So 742. And then we're going to take that from 1000 258. So groceries, um because we still have the EBT cards that we got um over the summer, uh, I'm going to go ahead and only give us 30 because they don't cover diapers and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give us 30 for that. Um, gas is going to get 30. I will get 20 and my husband will get his normal 70. So we have 30 plus 30 plus 20 plus 70 is 150. And 150 from 258 is 108. Okay, and so I like to write that total right here. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do 18 in the cash envelope. So I'm gonna take eight 
and 10 or by two envelopes that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and already cross that out because we have 90. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know what? Perfect. I'm just going to give everything $10 this week because it is a um, shorter paycheck. So that's 90. So we had, we usually, we originally had 108. I took the 18 there. So we should have 18 remaining. Then this is 18. So I should have zeroed us out. And this was a fast little walkthrough. So 1,000. And then we had 742 for our bills. 150, um, 90, and 18. I am a zero-based budgeter. So I do like to, at the end of this, um, zero is out and we I leave I guess I can't say I'm a completely zero based budgeter because I do leave about $50 in the bank um, so 18 it's zero so there we go we zeroed this out so whatever I take out of here there's always usually about $50 left in the bank um, my husband gets gas out of his actual paycheck um, so that actually, so his paycheck was actually 1100, but with the, or I guess, sorry, it was 1150 with the $50 buffer. And then with him getting gas, that's why I, I am taking a thousand dollars out. So, um, his paycheck was pretty much right on budget. It's just what we actually can take out is a thousand because of the buffer. So there's that. And, um, I, I'll do my um, cash breakdown. Well, I guess I can just... I will. Okay, now that we've got those all written in there, I'm back and um, let's go through this real quick. So rent is 400, so I'm gonna do four 100s. Car payment is 138, so I'm gonna do one 100, um, 120, 110, one five, and three ones. Car insurance is 50, so it will get one $50 bill. Excel is 40, so it's gonna get two 20s and one dollar bill. Credit cards are 50, 150. Karate is 63, so I'm gonna do 150, um, yeah, 150, 110, and three ones. Groceries is 30, so it will get three tens. Gas is 30, so it will get three tens. Me, I will get two tens. My husband will get a 50 and a 20. Emergency, all of these are going to get 110. So 110, 110, 110, 110, 110. 110, 110, 110, and then gambling is eight, or I'm sorry, my 100 envelope is eight, we'll get one five and three ones, and this $10 one will get 110. So now we have five 100s, one, two, three, four 50s, oh, wrong line, um, one, two, three, four 20s, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, tens, one, two, fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ones. So the total should equal a thousand. So we have five hundred here. Four fifties is two hundred. Four twenties is eighty. Um, 20 tens is 200, 10, and 10. So let's add this up. So we have 500 plus 200 plus 80 plus 200 plus 10 plus 10 equals 1,000. So that's what we need. So that's my cash breakdown. And then that's all I'm gonna do on camera as far as my budget. So let's go ahead and move this and open up that Happy Mail. So I've had this Happy Mail for like three days now. 
but I wanted to open it on camera. So this is from Baddies and Budgets and it is the yearly savings challenges. So there should be 12 challenges in here. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. I was really excited when I saw the release for this. I really like her stuff. Okay, so we've got a little card, baddie, Baddies and Budgets. And then it's got her links over here. We love to, hey, Baddie, thank you so much for shopping with us. You are officially a part of the Baddie gang, Baddie B gang. Remember, we all start somewhere, so do the best you can with what you have. You deserve to be financially free. You are now woman on a budget. I love that. This is so awesome. So cool. Oh, and so this is the challenges. So January's challenge. Oh, I love these. Let's open these and see. We got here. So we've got January's challenge and it's little um, wine glasses. Choose one item to color in each week and stuff that amount. So just eat, each week you pick one. So 5, 10, 20, 5, 10, 15, 5, 15, 10. And then this one says a bonus for $40. And then you put the end of the month total. February's is just little envelopes that you color in. And I love these because they're all smaller amounts. Okay, so let's see what this one is. For each week, look at the shape. If you have visited the state, add $1 to your envelope for the week. Oh, how cool is that? That is so cool. If you've been to Hawaii or the other US islands, add $5. Oh, that is so cool. So week one was, this week is heart. So heart, 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 heart. A little heart there, heart there. This is so neat. I'm so excited for these. April challenge, weather-based challenge. Check the weather daily. If the temperature is above 75, add $3. But if it's below 70, add $2. On a rainy day, add $10. And then there's the bonus. Oh, this is so neat. I love these. Um, the May challenge, this or that challenge. Choose the leaves or pot each week and add that number to your envelope. Week one, if I choose the leaves, I'll add $6 that week. If I choose the pot, I'll add $10. So each week, week one is 12 or you choose the leaves. Nine or you choose the leaves. 10, oh, this is so, these are so cool. Um, color in one item per day and add that amount to your envelope. Double the amount on even numbered days. So color in one item per day and add that amount for June. This is the June challenge. And then the July challenge, color in, the, in an item each week. Fill in the barbecue sign for $30. The barbecue sign. It says 30 there, but it says 25 there. Maybe she, but that's, this is so neat. Oh, it's just so cool. They're just so original. And then this is five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. So you just fill in a backpack. September challenge is a $5 challenge. Collect as many $5 bills as you can this month. See if you can color in every box. October challenge is little bats. Give each bat a value and add as many of them as you can to your envelope. So you just pick a value and then add same for November, turkeys, pick it. And then December, oh, this one looks fun. Choose a reindeer, add up the total cost for all the letters in their name. Stuff that amount for each month. You can add a few letters each week or pay it all at once, or you can pick one reindeer per week for an extra challenge. Look at, so Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. This is so cool. I'm so excited for this. I really am. And then these are the envelopes and they're the zipper envelopes. So that's cool. And June, May, April, March, February, January, July, 
August, September, October, November, and December. This, this is so neat. I'm so excited to do this. Okay, so I do have this binder that I'm going to put this challenge, these challenges in. But um, because I would have to sit here and poke out every single one of these holes on camera, I'm not going to do it. But they are, I will have it set up by the time we stuff because I will have my first one to stuff. So that's fun. This is so exciting. I'm really excited to do this. Thank you so much for making this. Um, and uh, that's all I have for y'all today. So uh, I will be back in a day or two to do my cash stuffing. And again, if y'all are interested, this is Baddies and Budgets. So you can go check her out. I'm sure most of you know who she is. She's pretty pretty popular in the um, budgeting community. So, but this is exciting. I'm excited for this. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in a couple days. Um, thank you. Bye.